lots of vacancies, but where are the applicants? Too many simply can't afford the rent. Lack of affordable housing is a global challenge. A recent study by the World Resources Institute found about one-third of all city dwellers worldwide, 1.2 billion people, don't have access to secure housing. In the Florida Keys, it's been exacerbated by last year's Category 4 hurricane that destroyed over 2,000 homes. Christian Garro, a retired right. engineer, moved to Big Pine Key from Alaska six years ago. Hurricane Irma devastated his community, and some of his neighbors never returned. The costs involved, he says, are simply too high. It, it's, it's very tough for certain people who can't even rebuild because they really cannot afford it or they're fighting with the insurance or anyway, the county makes their life miserable with all kinds of permits and, you know, to the cost of thousands. So local housing leaders are trying a new model, a community land trust. It's essentially a vehicle uh, that was created to help um, create affordable housing solutions. Um, often it's in areas where um, retail rental and market rate housing uh, has gone up to a level that's made it difficult for low to moderate income people to afford to either rent or buy. These first uh, four homes are going They use a collective land ownership model to lock in prices, then rent homes out to qualifying residents. This nonprofit approach is already being used in more than 200 communities across the U.S. and in other countries like the U.K., India, Israel, and Tanzania. And most people, uh, especially in the tourist industry, can't afford a house like that. And so they have to be subsidized. The profit motive has to be taken out of the equation. Uh, I'm working with a group that uh, husband and wife in a philanthropic way has put up $2 million of their own money to acquire land and build these houses. The Florida Keys Community Trust owns 11 lots. So far, its administrators are developing four, with four more in the works. Looking to expand and provide more affordable housing to low- and middle-wage earners. After all, Florida's luxury lifestyle depends on a working class to maintain it. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Florida Keys.